Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Malcolm Helmsman vlog. I am Tyler Thiemann, and today I am joined by the voice of the Malcolm <laughs> Clipper Athletics, who also happens to be a Clipper himself, um, Heath Kramer. How's it going, Heath? Going well. Thanks awesome. for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. So, you have quite the diverse professional history <laughs> from ministry to the announcer for the Lincoln Salt Dogs, yeah. so there's a lot to get into, but let's let's start at the beginning. Okay. So you're at Malcolm High School. Yep. What kind of things are you involved in? What are you interested in? Oh, Malcolm High School, that was a long time ago. <laughs> um, I was involved in all, I won't say everything that the mm -hmm. school offered, but we didn't offer as much mm -hmm. then. Uh, so I guess if we'd go through the school year, my freshman year I did football, and then I switched to cross country. Mm -hmm. Two-time state champions, All by right. the way. Uh, and uh, let's see, um, marching band. Mm -hmm. So um, we had a great marching band program, which I'll probably get into that a little bit more later. Um, choir, swing choir, cool. one act, speech, cool. uh, and then basketball. I did track three years. So I think, you know, I, was, I think I was on, I, I don't know that I was ever on student council, but mm -hmm. I was like the class vice president or something. So Involved in a lot. Quite the yeah. impressive high school resume. <laughs> yeah. So what what kind of things are you interested in going on to college? What are you thinking about doing as a career? So when I'm in high school, we had um, Mr. Tillotson was an uh, English teacher, and then he kind of started in way, way less technical than where we're at now with, mm -hmm. with all that you have. But I'm... He is probably responsible for getting me kind of interested in, in the whole broadcasting yeah. realm. So uh, by the time I was a senior, I knew I wanted to do something uh, in the journalism mm -hmm. or broadcasting realm. Uh, senior year, I did yearbook. That's another thing I did. And by the time that was all said and done, I had probably done most of the pages in the yearbook because mm -hmm. I had a, an extra, you know, free period my senior year. I loved being in the dark room developing pictures, and um, so and I, I started to kind of develop as a writer. I mm -hmm. thought, um, and then I went to uh, you know college visits, and I I just kind of felt like maybe the broadcasting part was was what I wanted to pursue. So mm -hmm. that's. Again, I wish we'd have had like Strive and all that yeah. back then to get me prepared for that, but mm -hmm. that's the direction I decided to go. So then, where'd you end up going to college? Went to the University of Nebraska in okay. Lincoln. Yeah. What'd you What'd you major in? Broadcasting, okay. uh, which at that time uh, still is, but it was uh, part of the journalism school. Mm -hmm. So I, my degree is journalism, broadcasting emphasis. Yeah. I think I had three minors also: okay. uh, history, <laughs> sociology, and. Uh, political science, I think. So, so they wanted you to be well-rounded mm -hmm. in, in things. If you're going to go on into journalism, mm -hmm. know a little bit about a sense. lot of things. Yeah. yeah. So pretty busy in college too, then I guess. I was. Yeah. So let's see. You have a major in broadcasting, mm -hmm. a bachelor's degree in broadcasting. What's What's the first step from there? Where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an interesting story because my plan, you know, as I went into broadcasting, I really wanted to do sports. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a play-by-play -play guy. Was convinced that was the route I was going to go. So while I'm at the university, uh, I'm getting to do um, Husker games. Got mm -hmm. to do play-by-play -play for a Nebraska football game in the fall of '92. Cool. It was awesome. <laughs> Got to do like two or three Husker basketball games, including two wins over KU on uh, awesome. the Bob Devaney Sports Center floor. So that was a lot of fun, and they did a lot of baseball. So I really loved that. Um, but we would have people like Kent Pavelka and Jim Rose and people from ESPN. Mm -hmm. If the Husker, you know, if the Husker game was on ESPN, they would come to town and or come and talk to our classes. Mm -hmm. And the story I kept hearing over and over is: you're going to start out in a small town. You're going to be working on late a lot of late nights. I mean, think about when sporting events are, mm -hmm. and you're not going to make any money. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and I was. Uh, close to getting engaged at the time. I'm thinking, is this how I want to start out married mm -hmm. life? Like constantly on the road, never home at night, all that. Um, and so it was at about that same time that I first met some people at KGBI, which is a Christian radio station in Omaha. And I, you know, being very involved in church and that sort of thing, I was familiar with that station and their music and uh, they found out that I was a broadcasting major. And so one thing kind of led to another. I ended up getting an interview for a part-time position up there about a semester before I was going to graduate. Okay. And um, thought, well, all right, let's try this Christian radio thing. <laughs> I still wasn't making any money, but at least I was you know, home for normal hours yeah. and 
so that's kind of how it got started into so after I graduated May 7th 1994 from uh, the university and on May 10th I uh, walked into a full-time job at KGBI that's pretty so, quick yeah that's awesome yeah, yeah. So then I know um, at some point after that, you went back to, you came to NCC mm -hmm. and the youth pastor there. What, what pushed you to do that? God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I, was, uh, I was commuting from Lincoln to Omaha at the time. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I would say it was a, just kind of a God moment. I was driving one day up to Omaha. I was doing the morning show. So I was leaving the house at like... 4.30 in the morning making mm -hmm. that drive. There's a lot of days I don't even remember actually getting there, but you know, I was practically driving in my sleep. But uh, there was just this overwhelming sense that I just felt like I was supposed to be involved with the youth in Malcolm, but I didn't know mm -hmm. what that was going to mean for me exactly. But came to our church and was like, hey, is there anything I can do to get involved with, with the youth? And at the time, we didn't have a youth pastor or a youth ministry other than some Sunday school classes mm -hmm. or some maybe Sunday night youth group things. And uh, FCA had just gotten started by uh, Mr. Bartek, who started that here at Malcolm. And so I just kind of jumped in wherever I could help out. And over the course of the next two or three years, um, it just, things, doors started opening mm -hmm. and um, the church decided to hire a youth pastor and they didn't really want it to be me. I, <laughs> I was the third of uh, three candidates and the other two turned it down. So I became the youth pastor and was there for 15 years doing that. That's pretty so, cool. Yeah. And then I know after that, you started working at your current full-time mm -hmm. job, even though I'm pretty sure you have like five full-time jobs right now. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of side hustles. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's the main one right now? What are you up to now? So um, I've been serving at MyBridge Radio since um, about 2013. Okay. And yeah, so I was kind of at the time at the church where it was like maybe it's time to you know i was in my uh getting close to 40 or early 40s i don't remember exactly how old i was but it was like maybe it's time to move on i wasn't really sure and i got reached out to by stan parker who's our ministry leader at my mm -hmm. bridge and uh, that was like a year-long courtship of mm -hmm. trying to decide is this is it time for me to make this move and yeah. so yeah so i've been serving full-time there since yeah i think it was uh, late in 2013 uh i'm on the air Quite a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I do the morning conversation three days a week, and then I have a, a solo shift that I do for three hours a day, and then I'm uh, doing all of the production. Well, I was doing all the production. We recently hired somebody else, but so anything that plays between songs, I'm involved with producing that, okay. putting that all together. Uh, and then two years ago, we started a Spanish-speaking uh, ministry, so we've got a Spanish-speaking station. We've got stations uh, in Kearney and Grand Island, and we're about to launch one in Lexington. So cool. uh, the gal that does production for them, I oversee her work, even though mm -hmm. I don't speak a lick of Spanish. <laughs> but I, I sign off on all of it. Like, it sounds great. Yeah. So, yeah, so those are kind of my primary roles at MyBridge. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then what what all public address stuff are you doing right oh, now? Oh, my word. Uh, <laughs> so uh, everything... Every varsity event at Malcolm, mm -hmm. I do public address there. We're very thankful for that. Yeah, well, I love doing it. Uh, the Lincoln Salt Dogs, I'm about to go into my fourth season okay. doing the, all the Salt Dogs games. Uh, for the NSAA, I do uh, two state championship football games every year. This year I did 26 state tournament basketball games. Wow. Uh, I'll do the baseball state championship games in Omaha, and I'll, I'll fill in with volleyball once in a while. And then there's unified sports bowling, mm -hmm. and then uh, the other bowling season. Is that everything? I think that's I pretty think much that's everything for the <laughs> NSA. Yeah, well, that's it. I'm going to do it. softball <laughs> next fall when that moves up to Omaha also awesome. for the state championships. And then Lincoln Public Schools, I do mm -hmm. quite a bit for them. That's so cool. uh, just whatever school is, has a need and I'm mm -hmm. available. So I, I, right now the public address announcing is truly a passion. Of mine. Mm -hmm. I just really enjoy doing it. Well, that. you do great work. Like Thanks. we very thankful <laughs> for it here. I know that because yeah. those games wouldn't be the same if we didn't have. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of fun. So, okay, now we've pretty much gone over <laughs> all of your career. Yes. Um, so we talked about you went to Malcolm High, mm -hmm. and now you're back as the voice of Malcolm Clipper Athletics. So let's say, like, all time, Malcolm High School, okay? What do you think your favorite experience, moment, memory, whether it's in the school or if you went somewhere with your class in high school, what do you think your favorite has been? Yeah, one favorite? One favorite. You can share a couple. I won't, yeah. I won't play with you. Let me think about this. I... I was kind of going back to high school when I when I knew you were going to ask that question. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I mentioned our marching band. Mm -hmm. Um, I get to be a part of that. Mr. Ely was our band director. Mm -hmm. And that was just something that we were really known for Mm -hmm. Um, back in the kind of in the 80s. We we rolled off like 21 superior ratings in a row on in marching band and field competition. Uh, And then he had it set up. So we went on a a, a kind of little trip Mm -hmm. every two years. And then on the fourth year, a big trip. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so right before my freshman year we took a trip to washington dc and i got to go just as a family member my sister was going to be a senior that year and then my senior year we took a trip to uh we marched in the orange bowl parade Mm -hmm. and we also marched at at disney world and so we spent like a week in florida that'd be so cool it was it was you know right before the right and you spent new year's in miami Mm -hmm. on the beach wow um so those trips, but in particular that Florida trip, mm-hmm. I mean, that's kind of a highlight for be uh, so cool. a high school memory. So mm-hmm. I would say that, um, you know, as far as since I've been announcing and, and just involved in school that way, I, you know, I don't know if there's any one particular, like, game that mm-hmm. stands out, but getting to be there for, I think especially when we've qualified for state, mm-hmm. you know, on our home court, which has happened a couple times in both volleyball and, and mm-hmm. girls' basketball, those have been some pretty special moments. Well, and those are yeah. so energetic, yeah. too. It's just Absolutely. a lot of fun to be there. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, those, that trip had to be so much fun. Oh, All it was a blast. There's, yeah, there's certain parts of the stories I can't tell. But, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we had a good time, for sure. Yeah. That's awesome. So then, finally, <clears throat> as a Malcolm graduate mm-hmm. and someone who's still here, um, and you've been quite successful in yeah. everything that you do, um, one thing, if you could choose one thing, what is one thing you would want anybody to know about Malcolm? One thing anybody can know about Malcolm, it's um, it's a special place. Um, I, you know, I when I'm from my vantage point, like at the scores table when I'm announcing, and I look across the gym and I see you guys over there, I just see a a, a bunch of good kids, and that that just always warms my heart because my kids went to school here, my wife works here, mm-hmm. um, and. I get into a lot of other schools, and there's other schools that are nice schools, and they've got good kids, but I just feel like as a whole, um, there's just something special about this place, and um, I've had a chance to get to know a ton, you know, through being a youth pastor for 15 years, and but even, you know, now all you students that weren't ever really in my youth ministry, mm-hmm. but I, I've still been able to get to know you. Uh, it's just this place with a lot of really good people, and it's a it's a special place. I mean, you think about the number of people that the option into Malcolm. Mm-hmm. That you know the the fact that there are you know moms spending the night outside of the admin mm-hmm. building the day before those options get turned in. That speaks to the reputation that yeah. this school has, and um, a lot more option in than option out. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, it's just. That would be the thing I'd say is it's it's just a special place with a lot of really good people. That's awesome. Well, I'd have yeah. to agree. And, um, well, I mean, I've got one of those great people sitting right here. Thank you so much for coming yeah. in today, Heath. Thanks great for having me. I feel like I should be interviewing you because I recently read your resume. <laughs> and, like, here in five years, you're going to need to be sitting in this chair. And somebody oh, that's, okay. like, in fifth grade right now needs to be interviewing you. <laughs> we'll really proud of you. Thank you very much. And thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.